G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. In this video we're going to be having a look at how to uh, instantly divide by 9 but using bigger numbers now. Because in the first video, this is a series of three videos, the first video we looked at, we looked at a big number, it was in the millions dividing by 9 and how to instantly do that. But it was a quite an easy example and in the next video we looked at how to deal with remainders. The links for those by the way, they're just here right now, you'll be able to see them. But in this number we're going to start, in this number, in this video we're going to start looking at how to deal with bigger numbers. When I say bigger numbers, I mean ones with bigger digits within those numbers. Okay, so just so it's not ones and twos and ones and they all conveniently add up to less than 10 when we are, are working through what we're doing. And you'll see what I mean if you haven't seen these. So, and if you haven't seen them, I recommend you go back and have a look at these first videos. But if you have, and you, and you keep them going on, good on you, we, you'll see that this is the final way to deal with these. This just involves a little bit of carrying. So, the example I'm going to give now is this one here, 316,249, and we're going to divide 9 into this. So as you'll remember from the first part of our, the first couple of videos we're doing, this here forms the first part of our answer, so we just move this number down here, 3, and then we start adding these to our answer, so 3 down here plus 1 is 4, plus 6 is 10. I'm going to write this 10 here just to, to help you out for the minute. Okay, This 10 I've got to put down here, but it means I've got to carry it because I can't just write a 10 there. I've got to, you know, 10's actually composed of a, a, a tens and a nothing. So the zero is going to go here, but the actual one we're going to add to the four here. So this is going to become a five and this will become a zero. The next time we add two, so 10 plus two is 12. So I'm going to put that in. So the one's going to go there, and the two's going to go here. All right. Now we're going to add four. We get sixteen. Okay. So we add this on. We're going to get the one here is going to become a one plus two is three, and the six is going to go here. And then we're going to add this nine. So sixteen plus nine is twenty-five. Now. Before you go and write it down here, you'll remember we divide this number by 9. 16, uh, 25 divided by 9 is 2 with a remainder of 7. 2 nines are 18, plus 7 is 25. So, if you remember, what we did is we added the 2 to our answer here. We add this part to our answer. So, 6 plus 2 is 8. And this remainder 7 is the remainder 7. So our answer is 35,138 remainder 7. I'll write that again down there just so it's a nice easy uh, to read answer. So 35,138 remainder 7. Hey that's not too bad is it? I hope you understand all that. I hope that was nice and clear but that's just how you deal with those bigger numbers. You you just add those on as you go, okay, you have to carry the numbers across, and I actually do find this this bit a little bit easier. I, I must say, I occasionally tend to write these down a little bit. I, I, you know, depending on who you are and how how well you carry numbers across. Given that I didn't have a pen, I obviously wouldn't, but this one, I, uh, hey, with over pen in front of me and a bit of paper, I tend to uh, tend to do it for convenience sake. Anyway, hopefully you are you were good with that. I reckon that's a really really good trick. Anyway, any questions? Fire them off. All right, see ya.